Increasing milk production while reducing feed costs is a challenge being addressed by researchers at USDA's Agricultural Research Service in Beltsville, Maryland. And understanding the genome, or genetic material, of dairy cows could help do that. We know where the locations of the genes are now because we have genome assemblies, and we know some of the functions of those genes. And so we can just ask the question, where in the genome are the genes that affect milk production? Understanding cows' genetic makeup, or genotype, helps farmers breed more cows that eat less feed but produce the same amount of milk. Most of their production costs are related to feeding of the animals. So if we can reduce the amount of feed that the animals need to maintain the herd, then we've substantially reduced their feed costs. You're identifying cows that can produce the same amount of milk as their herd mates, but they use less feed to produce that milk. ARS leadership says innovative research like that being done by Connor and Sonstegard is the key to finding solutions to many of the world's agricultural challenges. Productivity in agriculture is critical to feeding the world's population, which we know is going to grow from about 6.6 .6 billion today to almost 9 billion by 2050. For more information, go to USDA.gov. For the U.S. Department of Agriculture, I'm Bob Ellison. Thank you.